And those counting problems in one race are leading to breaking news this morning. Political newcomer Jim Bridenstine has upset longtime incumbent John Sullivan in the District 1 Republican congressional race. The final results came in overnight, and 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is live to break it down for us. Dan? Well, Bridenstine told us that it took a lot of hard work to beat out Sullivan. Now the former CEO of the Tulsa Air and Space Museum might be headed to Washington. Here are the numbers which came in overnight. The two candidates found themselves separated by just about 4,000 votes, with 54% going to Bridenstine and 46% going to Sullivan. Bridenstine says he was never intimidated by Sullivan, who has held this position for the last 10 years. He says he just based his campaign on fiscal responsibility which he told us is what the voters want. In the last half hour, we heard from Sullivan as he conceded overnight. Now we hear from Bridenstine. Everybody told me from the very beginning that we were going to be way outspent, um, that, that we didn't have the experience. But the reality is this. The American people are tired of the way Congress has been doing business. They are tired of both parties, Republicans and Democrats, spending recklessly and putting our country in this bad position. Bridenstine now goes up against Democrat John Olson and Independent Craig Allen in the November 6th general election. Live near downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.